What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a multi-layer, cool looking, quick uh, title. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and pick a background. So in this case I'm going to pick a fire background since I like fire. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that in and I'm going to extend it uh, long enough that I can put my title in. So that's the first thing you do here. Pick your background. So next, I am going to pick a video that I created. You can pick any video you want, but in this case, I like a time lapse that I created on my iPhone. Created it at night to give a kind of cool look with the lights. So I'm just gonna drag that on top of the background. So right now it's covering it up, obviously. And what I'm going to need to do is I'm gonna need to double, kind of double tap on the time lapse video because we're gonna have to get it to a transparency so you can see through it. So what I'm gonna do is go down to blending here. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna drop the blending down to 50%. Um, you could adjust accordingly, but I like 50%. So it'll kind of show the lights um, from the street lights through the fire. Um, but what I also wanna do is add an effect. So I wanna kind of add a Neuer, Neuer night effect. So it'll even make the lights pop out more and it'll kind of just blend everything else into the background. It creates a real cool little effect. So if you ever create a time lapse at night, it's kind of cool. So I just did this while I was driving outside the window here. Well, I wasn't driving, obviously, but anyways, it kind of gives that cool effect. The lights kind of appear in white and they kind of pop out. So next thing I'm going to do is add a title that's the main point here so I'm gonna just pick a title that I like in this case I like bold main so I'm gonna go ahead and pick bold main and you just drag it on top of your overlay video and I like to give it a little space that way um, I can add the transition afterwards so there it is it's kind of starting to come together a little here so i just double tapped on the um the title so now i'm just going to go ahead and type in my title yeah, so i apologize for any background fan noise i'm in the server room at work so uh, in this case for demonstration i'm just going to type great slick g productions and then on the side, I'll just type thanks for watching. The more and more I'm becoming acclimated with this application, it's becoming more and more awesome for me. I use it regularly now. Um, it used to be cumbersome at first working on the iPhone screen in this app. No longer the case after a few weeks. I, it's just so easy to use for me now. So keep at it and you'll get more and more used to it so i'm just changing the color here so i just tapped on the bar and you can change the color to whatever you want now i'm just going to change the text color so you tap single tap on the text you want to change the color and then you can scroll down and just change the face color in this case i like red and black theme or red theme kind of pops out a little more in my opinion so got the colors together and i backed out now what I want to do is add a transition to make that uh, animation effect on the title. So I kind of want it to just pop out, just kind of grow from nowhere. So actually what I'm going to use is shrink for the incoming transition on the title. And that'll make it grow from small to big. And now I want to add grow at the end. And that'll make it go back from big to small. So it kind of comes at you and then it'll go back into the fire. So now what I'm going to do is actually, this is a hidden gem in here. Um, they have great royalty-free music in this app. So I'm going to look for a logo stinger in here. So basically, you go up to the top left and you find royalty-free music. I'm taking the Intense Hybrid Teaser. I like the sound of that one. And I dragged it down to the audio section. Now what you want to do is at the end of the logo video, you just want to go ahead and cut the audio. And then I'm just going to delete the end part because I don't need that. I just need it for the initial logo, obviously. So now what I need to do is find a transition, which is... Um, I'm just going to use crossfade so I can make the audio just fade out. So I'm just going to tap crossfade, drag it down, and put it at the end of the audio so it'll fade out nicely and smooth. So now we have the complete presentation here. And I'm going to show you the example of how it turned out. 
thank you guys so much for watching and hope you have a wonderful day.